Yes, he'll be around there all the way. He'll look the winner at some part of the race. A lot of horses did parade. One that did really catch my eye was a horse called Simigan. I thought he paraded very nicely, number 13. He did beat Touch of Sun home the other day at their last start behind uh, Grampians. And in for third? Uh, I like the New Zealand horse. He paraded OK. Mr Lately, number three. But I've got to put Touch of Sun on top. Very tricky race, Joe. OK, Fuego Bravo dominating the betting for this year's Group 3 Grafton Cup at $5. Touch of Sun is the second favourite at $5.70. It has been the firmer in betting late here, Rod. Thanks, Joe. And uh, as you can see, the runners... Uh... The past, Aquazoff's won it in the past. Two previous winners in this year's field. With a winner's cheque of $112,200 coming up. Waiting for Merchant Bank to walk up into the gate and Touch of Sun firms again. $3.90 for Touch of Sun. And Merchant Bank might be almost in. He is. Rex Kelly's up. The red light's on and we're set for action. The field settles. Uh, Merchant Bank a little toey. The gates fly and they're racing in the 2000 Grafton Cup and Aquas off Valley Mac and Super Revenir near the inside came out quickly. Fuego Bravo began well. Riverdale from out wide and Touch of Sun stepped out of the machine rapidly with Riverdale going up deep and looking for the lead. Touch of Sun going with him as Santi's wide and here's Ronnie working forward. Fuego Bravo settles fifth on the rail, a length away count scenario. Then one to Simigan, one to Aquas off on the inside of Merchant Bank. Three quarters rip on by two lengths to far beyond as they turn out of the straight a length away super revenue and then mr lately over Ali mac and what dreams had dropped back to the tail of the field touch of sun has the fence and lead 1700 meters out in the cup touch of sun the favorite by a little more than a length he is ronnie second fuego bravo third hugging the fence a length the sandy and a half simigan on the rail another length away is merchant bank he's out deep he's being allowed to stride around riverdale count scenario in the middle the best part of of six lengths off the lead. Aquas off on the rail and then one to rip on by on the outside of Super Revenue. A length to far beyond one to Ali Mack. Mr. Lately is second last and what dreams whips the cup field in. Touch of Sun's the leader at the 1200 metres mark. Merchant Bank's gone to second. Not a great deal of pace on at the halfway mark. Touch of Sun three quarters to Merchant Bank. Fuego Bravo is third on the fence behind the leader. Riverdale fourth. Then Ears Ronnie followed by Simigan. Asante a little wide a length away Aquas off his midfield on the inside of Count Scenario rip on by trying to improve Ellie Mack on the rail three quarters of a length to Super Revenir two lengths to far beyond around what dreams and the Kiwi Mr Lately is last and he is 12 lengths from the leader which is touch of sun with 700 metres left to run Merchant Banks in second spot Fuego Bravo sticking to the fence here's Ronnie is deeper out rip on by and a Sandy a hook deep as they thunder towards the turn was off, sticking to the fences. Touch of Sun leads. 400 metres to go. They flatten in the big cup. Simigan's made a move around the outside to get to second. Fuego Bravo into the clear. Then Merchant Bank, Super Revenue. Rip on by and count scenario. Simigan after Touch of Sun. 200 metres out. Super Revenue on the outside. Then Fuego Bravo. Simigan in front. Super Revenue trying to reach him. Aquas off on the rail. Simigan's holding them at bay. Simigan's cup. Simigan has won from a photo between Aquas off and Super Revenue, then Touch of Sun, Fuego Bravo and Count Scenario. What dreams far beyond rip on by Merchant Bank Asante, Riverdale, Ears Ronnie, Mr Lately and Ali Mack last home in Tui's Drafton Cup of 2000. Sim again. Number 13, written by Robbo. Number 13, Sim again. Alan Robinson has won the cup as we wait for the numbers to go into the frame. The judge will look at the photo to split second and third. A hundred metres out, it looked at my, as though it might be a local double as Super Revenue loomed up. After we had a local win the Ramona yesterday, Super Revenue was there with his chance. A hundred metres out, but Simigan fought him off. Aquazoff burst up on the fence, and it's between Aquazoff and Super Revenue for second and third now. But the winning numbers there, number 13, Simigan, ridden by Alan Robinson, trained by Brian Smith, has won the cup. Made his charge coming to the turn, swept up deep to tackle the leaders as they flatten for the run to the judge, and has stalled them off 
most of the way down the running. He'll return about $9.20 for the win and $2.90 for the place. OK, the Brian Smith train Simigan won the cup. It's a photo for second and third. And the old Marvel, the Aquasoft's in that photo, the 10-year-old with Super Revener. We'll have those minors. Uh, can't see through the glasses. I've got no idea. What are they doing? Now, there's a rideless horse behind the line. It's number 12, Nuggetor. Oh, I guess... Oh, and the jockey's on the ground. That's the problem. Kenny Pope. So Nuggetor's out. Please take note. That's what the trouble is. They've got to get the ambulance around to the barrier. Number 12, Nuggetor, a late scratching, showing $28.20 at the time of its withdrawal. So Nuggetor out. A, a, a delay there uh, before the start of uh, the race at Bedesert. Now, directly after the running uh, of the Cup with the uh, Alan Robinson just dismounting there from Simogen, Joe McKinnon caught up with an elated trainer, Brian Smith. I have an absolutely elated Brian Smith, winning trainer of this year's Group 3 Grafton Cup. Congratulations, Brian. <laughs> Thank you very much. You can't believe it, can you? I can believe it. I just was so calm today. Uh, my staff, uh, his preparation, lovely owners, and uh, I've been third in this race twice when I trained. Broken silence on the outside and Croner Walk. Brian? Thank you very much. You can't believe it, can you? I can believe it. I just was so calm today. Uh, my staff, uh, his preparation, lovely owners, and uh, I've been third in this race twice when I trained in Brisbane, and I wanted this race. It's a real privilege to win this. And now I've won the Orange Cup and this race, and uh, being in New Zealand to win two country cups in Australia is very, makes me feel very proud. How were you feeling when he was starting to loom 50 out from home? Oh, doesn't it? Like, he's just a game horse. Like, he, he um, Robinson, I was desperate to get him on, uh, that he, a great country rider. And when, when he was three back the fence, and when he got him off and the horse just dived, like, like a, what a game, little horse. And you said to me virtually straight after the race, my luck's changed. My luck has changed, and I must say thank you, Justin Sheehan, because when he rode this horse, he said he'll win a Metropolitan for you, this horse, when he won on him at Canterbury. So he's a very good judge. But uh, thank you, Grafton, and thank you all. It's, uh, I'm very happy. I'm sure this is a moment you'll enjoy for many, many years. Well, don't matter how old you get, winning a race, winning any race is just so good. Well done, Brian. Thanks for your time. Brian Smith there, absolutely elated after winning this year's Grafton Cup. There he was, and he's won plenty of races too, Brian Smith, if your memory goes back far enough. His um, racing career in Australia uh, used as a platform a very good galloper called Balmerino. And another thing he did... Brian Smith actually brought Shane Dye to Australia. And there's two of his uh, past glories and he's triumphed again today with Simogen. That's the past, here's the future. Uh, Port Augusta race seven where Victory Grin. Dead set topical tip in view of that big smile on Brian Smith's face. Chad Lever shooting for three winners on the day. It's $5.90, Harcourt $5.50, Voodoo Sunset $4.80, Front Beach $9.80. And uh, they are making a good line. The rest are all double figures. Directly after um, this race, we have the Twilight Greyhounds at Shepparton. And uh, number one, uh, Synergy Sam, $3. Rose of Moyne, $6.50. Number five, Miracle Jewel, $6.10. And number eight, Hazy Law, uh, $4.20. But a pretty light pool at this stage. Uh, Synergy Sam into favourite now, number one at $2.90 for Shepherd and Race 1. Paul Hammond likes Rose of Moyne, Synergy Sam, Miracle Jewel, as they're set to go, almost, with one to come into line at uh, Port Augusta. Let's go back now to Terry McAuliffe. Victory Grin just dancing a little bit in the gates. Waiting for Front Beach to come up. Yeah, the grey victory grin now striking out at the gate. He's getting impatient. This is the smoke-free Port Augusta Cup. They're all in. And attendant in now with victory grin. Still he paws away at the ground, the grey. He wants to get on with it. Harcourt rider Jeff Moore not quite set. There's the light. Debater getting fractious. 
Still the toppy just pouring away at the ground here, Victory Grin. Starter holds them. Racing in the cup. And uh, towards the inside, Voodoo Sunset, one of the first out with Harcourt over the wall, slow to begin, still run showing speed with Bill's preference. Victory Green heading up to the front with Raja Jazz, then Front Beach, further back in the field, then to Smooth Fella. Carnivorous is getting well back, so was over the wall, and Bitsky was actually dropping out last of all. Let's sort them out, though, as they head out of the straight now with about 1,800 metres left to travel, and Raja Jazz is going to run to the front. Raja Jazz leads from Voodoo Sunset second, Harcourt third. Victory Green was fourth, still run on its inside, a length and a half to Front Beach. Over the wall next, the inside from Bill's Preference. Wider out on the track then was Debater. It's trapped three deep. Behind it then was Smooth Fella. Our clays between runners. Back on the inside, Bitsky from Tiki Prince. And a length away last of all was Carnivorous. They've got less than a mile to travel now and Rajar Jazz. He's out freewheeling in front. Leads by two and a half to Voodoo Sunset second. Harcourt was third. Still run fourth the inside. Then Victory Grin. Debater around it three deep. Over the wall next on the inside. A length and a half further back to Front Beach, then Bill's Preference. Next on the inside, Bitsky from Smooth Fella, Tiki Prince, Al Clays, and a length away last of all, Carnivorous. Rajar Jazz doing it on his own in front at the 900 metre mark, led by a clear two and a half or three lengths. Still run, went through on the inside of Voodoo Sunset. Harcourt was next from Debater, then over the wall on the inside, Victory Grin was next. Bitsky the inside from Front Beach, then Bill's Preference. Smooth Fella still a fair way back with Tiki Prince, Al Clays. Carnivorous was last of all, they've run inside the 800. Rajar Jazz as he's basically been in front every step of the way. Leads in the cup by a length and a half to still run. Harcourt was third, then Voodoo Sunset over the wall, getting right through on the inside from Front Beach. Smooth fellas making ground, then Debater. Uh, further back then to Bitsky with still run. It's a long way back with Carnivorous Tiki Prince. Uh, the grey victory grins dropped out the last of all, and back with it was Al Clays and Bill's preference. But on the bend, Rajar Jazz really giving them something to catch here. He snuck away. Rajar Jazz raced about three in front in the cup from Harcourt. The cup looks all over. Rajar Jazz with a big lead at the 200. Harcourt trying to knuckle down. Then over the wall from Front Beach and Smooth Fella. But Rajar Jazz, he'll do it all the way here for Mick Huxtable and David Tootle. And Rajar Jazz, a bold display. Wins by three. Wins the Port Augusta Cup from Harcourt second. Third Front Beach and fourth Smooth Fella. Then over the wall, Bitsky. Behind those Voodoo Sunset with still run Tiki Prince. Well back was Bill's preference with Debater. Uh, Al Clay's Carnivorous and Victory Green put in a shocker, he was last in. Yes, well, uh, most of the punters don't have much to smile about either. Rajar Jazz, $25 and $5.70. Ran them ragged, Rajar Jazz. Harcourt second, $2.20. And Front Beach, uh, $2.80. two and five. Not sure how you get a back beach. But that was Front Beach running third. Shepparton now, the twilight burst. Uh,